Welcome to Classroom Idaho, Learn at Home, a partnership of the Idaho State Board of Education, the Idaho Office for Refugees and English Language Center, Projects of Janus, and Idaho Public Television. Hello from Boise State University. My name is Ronnie Boynton and I'm an admissions counselor. Located in the heart of downtown Boise and along the banks of the Boise River, Boise State is home to more than 26,000 students representing every state and more than 60 countries. Recently ranked as one of the nation's top 50 most innovative national universities, Boise State offers more than 200 areas of study. 
and my name is Thomas Kimball, and I am a student success coach who works directly with our Boise State Online. I help students get started with our 50 plus fully online programs and over 800 individual courses. If you choose an online option for your first semester or beyond, you're going to be in good hands. We would love to have you join us as a Bronco this fall, whether it's in person, remotely, or a mixture of both experiences. We are dedicated to helping you find an option to keep you safe and comfortable while pursuing your education with us. Realizing the unprecedented nature of the times, we want to walk through some timely questions that we're receiving from future Broncos just like yourself. Our first question, is there still time to apply and how do I do it? Yes, there is still time to start your application to Boise State, but it's best to do so soon and complete your application before August 1st. Start your application at apply.boisestate.edu. Next up, we have finances. Will I still be able to receive financial aid for this upcoming year? And that answer is yes. We are still processing financial aid for fall, and our financial aid and scholarships office is here to help you. So once you complete your admissions application, complete your federal application for financial aid, or FAFSA for short. And this will allow you to be considered for aid like grants, work study, loans, and scholarships. Begin your FAFSA online by going to fafsa.gov and then have your results sent to Boise State. We know many of you are wondering what school will look like this fall. Our third question addresses just that. What type of instruction will be available? And that is such a great question, Ronnie, because classes are just around the corner. So true. August will be here before we know it. Very true. <laughs> so the good news is Boise State plans to offer classes in person and online this fall. Students will participate in classroom instruction with a planned shift to remote delivery after Thanksgiving break. Students, faculty, and staff will be required to wear facial coverings and observe physical distancing and other public health practices on campus for as long as university medical staff and public health professionals advise us to do so. Students also have the option of starting and completing a degree fully online. Online courses are flexible to fit your schedule and are taught by the same top-notch faculty as our in-person courses. Our full reintegration plan to keep students and staff safe can be found by going to our homepage at boisestate.edu. All right, last question. Who do I reach out to for help? Great question, Thomas. Well, thank you. So we are available virtually to answer your questions. You can find us online and set up an online appointment at visit.boisestate.edu. Now, if you're starting a fully online program, also visit our website, boisestate.edu backslash online, where you can talk to a dedicated student success coach like myself uh, to go over things like being an online student in our online education, our online program offerings, and navigating the experience of the admission application. So no matter what your educational background and interests are, there's a place for you here at Boise State. We look forward to the fall and finding ways to welcome you in campus in a socially distant way and online. Thanks for watching everyone and go Broncos. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Brothers and sisters, it should be obvious to all of us that something spiritually significant is taking place in Rexburg, Idaho. We are blessed to be in a special place, a disciple preparation center, and to be engaged at a pivotal time in an essential work. As disciples, we have important lessons to learn. We have an eternally important work to do. And in these tumultuous times, we will follow the Master. First, I want to tell you that I love you. I love you, kids. You, <coughs> wonderful young people of this church, I love you. There's no, no end in sight for the good you could do. Do you know it? You're just simple kids. You're not geniuses, I know that.
But the work of the world isn't done by geniuses. It's done by ordinary people who've learned to work in an extraordinary way. People of your kind who can do these things. Their sacrifice, your sacrifice, will bring down the blessings of heaven as it always has. The students will learn from example how to keep on a steady upward course in times of great change. They will be natural leaders who know how to teach and how to learn. They will have the power to innovate and improve without requiring more of what money can buy. Those graduates of BYU-Idaho will become, and this is a prophecy that I am prepared to make and make solemnly, those graduates of BYU-Idaho will become legendary for their capacity to build people around them and to add value wherever they serve. We have a wonderful, inspired mission to build testimonies of the restored gospel of Jesus Christ, to educate our students with high quality, to prepare them for the responsibilities they will face, and to create here a wholesome, righteous community in which students may thrive spiritually, intellectually, and socially. The Lord watches over this university in a direct and powerful way. He is mindful of the individuals who come here. Our purpose is to help those students become his true followers, his true disciples, a light to the world. We want our students to provide the kind of leadership that serves and inspires first and foremost in their families and in the church, in their communities, and in their work. Our students must understand the principle of moral agency and learn how to act and not be acted upon. Finally, disciple leaders will need to understand and apply the atonement in their lives. These attributes of discipleship will increasingly prepare our students to fulfill Jacob Sporey's prophetic vision. The seeds we are planting today will grow and become mighty oaks, and their branches will run all over the earth. Indeed, BYU-Idaho's influence on the world will continue unabated through the lives and impact of its graduates. Hello, everybody. My name is Jason Meldrum from the BYU-Idaho Admissions Office. I'm one of the admissions managers there and excited to be able to walk you through the application process uh, for BYU-Idaho. I'm on the BYUI homepage, byui.edu, and there's a couple of ways you can access the application. The easiest way is to click on this orange apply button that's right next to the search bar. So if I click on apply, it's going to take me to the BYU-Idaho admissions uh, website. And as I scroll down, there's gonna be two buttons over here that I wanna point, uh, draw your attention to. One is the Apply Now button. We'll click on that in just a second. The other is the Application Help button. And if you click on the Application Help, uh, you're going to see that there is a step-by-step -step tutorial for each of the sections on the application. So make sure that you have that ready to go, open maybe in a separate tab as you go through the application because it's going to give you all the help that you need in order to be successful with the application. So I went ahead and clicked on the Apply Now button, and this now leaves the BYU-Idaho webpage, and I'm on the website uh, to apply to any of the colleges in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints educational system. Now, I've already created a net ID, and you'll be doing this uh, on your own the first time, and so we're going to enter in my information here. And it's going to log me into the application. A couple of things to, to pay attention to. Over here on the left-hand side, it's going to give you each of the sections that you need to fill out. And I've already done that. Um, on the school selection, you're going to say, okay, I wanna to apply to BYU-Idaho. And now suddenly along the top, there are going to be some additional things, so a, kind of a top navigation as well. I also wanna point out that over here on the right-hand side are the instructions for each of the pages within the application. So in the profile section, a couple of things are, are kind of important here in the profile section. When you're doing this application, you're gonna to get to a religion section. Make sure that you have your LDS account information 
handy and, and ready to access. Um, this, this will link your LDS account to the application and pull in the important things um, that, that we need for other parts of the application. In the application section, I wanted to just point out a couple of things as well. You have your high school information here. Um, you're going to be asked a couple of questions about your high school attendance, and one of them is going to be your GPA. You will self-report your GPA and let us know whether it was weighted or an unweighted GPA. We do want you to send in your transcripts at some point, but it is not necessarily a required part of the application process. Also, when you get to the ACT or SAT section, we know that some of you have been unable to take the ACT or the SAT because of COVID-19. And so there's an exemption section of this, uh, on the application. Let us know. If you have taken the ACT or the SAT, we do want you to go ahead and report that. But if you have been unable to take it due to COVID-19, check the box and, and we'll make an exemption for you right now. Under the recommendations section, again, this is on the application section, the recommendations are going to be your ecclesiastical endorsements. And that's an interview with your bishop and someone in your stake presidency. Just make sure that as you go through that process and you click on begin endorsement that you're reading all of the instructions on every single page of the application. Finally, if you go up here and you click on the status link, it's going to take you to a status page that shows you every single thing that's been completed on your application, along with the things that you need to complete still. And this is done in real time. And so as you complete each of these sections, this will be checked off for you. At the end of the application, it's critical that you come here and you click on submit your application. And this allows you, and you can't do that until everything else is checked off, but this allows us to actually be able to make a, a decision on your application eventually. I hope that information has been helpful for you. Again, use that tutorial that we have on our own website to walk you through each of the sections of the application. It shouldn't take you too long. And we hope to see you here at BYU-Idaho in the future. Hello, my name is Greg Franz and I'm the Associate Director of Admission and Director of International Recruitment here at the College of Idaho in Caldwell, Idaho. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the best ways to apply to the College of Idaho if you're a student in the state of Idaho. We have a few different ways to apply at the college and I'm just going to go over a few and then we'll be using our website to navigate to several of the different options that we have for applying. One way to apply to the College of Idaho is to use the Common Application, and this can be found at commonapp.org. This is a site that allows students to apply to multiple institutions across the United States using one application. Another way to apply to the College of Idaho is through the Apply Idaho application, which is located uh, through the Next Steps Idaho website for the state of Idaho. Now I'll direct you to our website at the College of Idaho, and on our home screen, we have a convenient link on the front that says leave home for home, apply to the College of Idaho. By clicking there, you're taken immediately to our website that goes over the different ways to apply, whether you're a first year student, an international student, or a transfer student. By using the first year application, you're applying directly to the College of Idaho, free of charge, and you're gonna be able to add all of the information that you need for us to determine uh, your admission status at the College of Idaho. 
In addition to submitting your application, where we'll ask for demographic information, biographical information, in this application you'll also be asked to submit a personal essay between 250 and 500 words. This will be used as part of the overall application process with the College of Idaho. So once you've created your College of Idaho application account, you'll select Start New Application. On this screen, uh, you'll be prompted to select the 2021 Freshman Fall Application, which is not yet live, so right now we're using our 2020 Freshman Fall Application. Upon opening the application, you'll see different screens for personal background, parent information, academic history, your plans, activities and awards, and these are activities and awards that you've partaken in and received while in high school, any recommendations you'd like to add, a personal statement, which again should be between 250 and 500 words, and then final steps, signature, review, and submit. After you've submitted your application to the College of Idaho, return to the home page and select Discover Scholarships from that home icon. Once you click Discover Scholarships, you'll find uh, the icon on the bottom for Our Scholarships. Click on Our Scholarships. And then on the right side, you'll see a list and select Institutional Scholarships. On the Institutional Scholarships page, we will show you different talent-based scholarships, whether it's in art, music, athletics, theater, cheer, Christian leadership, or debate. And beyond the talent scholarships, there will be a prominent icon for merit scholarships. Here, you'll be able to see what type of merit scholarships first-year students, as well as transfer students, qualify for based on your GPA, and if it applies to you, your ACT score. The College of Idaho is also test optional, so ACT scores may not apply to you. Another important area for students to know about is the Gibson Honors Program and Heritage Scholarship. This is a distinguished scholarship that covers the cost of tuition at the College of Idaho, and we award it to some of the best and brightest students that are applying to the college. Look for information this fall about how to be considered for the Gibson Honors Program and the Heritage Scholarship. Lastly, remember that the earliest you can apply to the College of Idaho using the Common Application is August 1st. The earliest you can apply to the College of Idaho using our application on our website is early September. We look forward to reviewing your application this fall, and go Yotes! The College of Southern Idaho offers a university experience at a community college size and price. With an average class size of 12 and a teacher to student ratio of 15 to 1, CSI students can earn an associate degree or technical certificate in an environment built for learning. The College of Southern Idaho offers 134 degree options in every concentration. From agriculture to business, from welding to nursing. Anything you've ever wanted to be can be achieved or started in one of our programs. Along with on-campus housing, student clubs, and outdoor recreation opportunities enrich the already outstanding student experience. With an annual tuition rate of $3,360, about half the price of a four-year university, and over $2 million awarded annually in scholarships, the College of Southern Idaho is an affordable option to earn a quality education along with lifelong skills and an unforgettable experience at one of our off-campus centers or right here at the main campus in Twin Falls. The College of Southern Idaho, because it all starts with you. Hi, my name is Gail Schul and I'm the Director of Admissions at the College of Southern Idaho. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you the few easy steps it takes to become a student at CSI, give you some additional information that you might be thinking you need in order to make the decision to come to CSI, and show you how you can get more information in the future if you'd like to. So we'll start out here on CSI's main homepage, csi.edu. Most of the information that you'll want as a student who's interested in starting at CSI is under this Future Students tab. You can see there's information on getting started, information to help you explore the campus, 
and then additional information on academics. Lots and lots of good stuff to help you make a decision about whether CSI is right for you. And I think it might be. So we're gonna focus on the information that I can provide to you as the admissions director. So let's go ahead and click on the admissions office page. So here, we're gonna take a look at the different kinds of students that come to CSI and the admission requirements for you. So are you a first time college student, which means after you completed high school, you've not attended college anywhere. You could be a first time college student if you have completed dual credit while you were in high school. We'll also talk about transfer students. And that means after you completed high school, you attended a college other than CSI. So we'll start with first time college student. Our first time CSI students follow a few simple steps. Apply for admission online, we offer a free application, in addition to the free Apply Idaho application that's available to high school seniors. Either one will do the same thing, get you accepted to the college and on your way to getting registered for classes. Once you've applied to CSI, we're interested in your scores in English and math because we wanna help place you in the classes that you're ready for as a first time college student. Many students at Idaho high schools graduate with SAT scores, some with ACT scores. Others don't wanna use those scores. They'd like to take our placement test because they wanna know where they are, ready, what their readiness is for math and English classes at the college level closer to when it's time to start school. Any of those options is just fine. We also want your high school or your GED transcript that shows that you have completed. And once we have those things, we wanna to talk to you. We want you to schedule an appointment so that you can meet with an advisor. Your advisor will help you make a plan, help you select the classes that you need for your first semester, talk to you about policies and procedures, make sure that you're ready to be successful at CSI. You can make an appointment with your advisor to meet by Zoom so that you can have an audio call, a video chat, you can talk on the phone, or you can come see us on campus and meet with someone face-to-face. We'll also give you the opportunity to do new student orientation, which we called SOAR, Student Orientation, Advising, and Registration. One last step to make sure you have all of the information you need to be successful before you begin classes. So these are the steps if you're a first-time college student. Let's see what the difference is if you're a transfer student who's attended college elsewhere. Now, our transfer students are gonna do one thing that's different from a first-time student, and that's here on step four you're going to submit your official college transcripts. That's so we can give you credit for the college coursework that you have already completed. So let's take a look at the admissions team information. Here's the apply button, here's meet your admissions team. CSI recruits students from across the state of Idaho. Whether you're a high school student looking to be a freshman in the fall or the next upcoming term, or you're a student that's never attended college before but you're thinking about it now, maybe you've attended college elsewhere and you wanna to transfer to CSI, we're interested in helping you become a student. So here are the regions that we work in and here's the team. There's me and the rest of the crew and it's important that you know that we're available to help you through all of the steps. Applying to CSI, other important steps like applying for financial aid and scholarships, learning how there's help available to pay for college. Maybe you want more information about the housing that we offer, more information about the programs, the degree possibilities. We have lots to offer at the college and all of us here in the admissions team are available to help you. You can call us at 732-6221. You can email our office, admissions at csi.edu, and you can get back to all of the information that we've looked at together by going to the homepage, csi.edu, hovering over future students, and then going from there. Thank you. Welcome to Classroom Idaho, Learn at Home, a partnership of the Idaho State Board of Education the Idaho Office for Refugees and English Language Center, Projects of Janus, and Idaho Public Television.
you're watching Idaho Public Television's Create Channel.